Watch this video to find out if it is the best time to get into step -in. What's up YouTube, this is Daniel and I'm back with my next video and in this video, I'll be telling you my thoughts on whether this is the best time to get into step -in. So let's jump right in. So as most of you have known, there is a recent crypto market crash which actually caused the whole market to go down and all prices to decrease. And Stepan is one of the tokens that were affected as well. Even though not to as much of an extent as other smaller crypto coins, but the prices of Stepan tokens did go down significantly. If you recall, the prices of GST was at an all-time high around $7.80 and for GMT closer to $4. But now it's is almost half the price for both of them. And with such a decrease in price, perhaps it might be a good time to consider getting into projects and in some sense, buying the dip. However, none of this is financial advice and always do your own research. This video is purely my own opinion based on the information that I get on the website. You do need to do your own research and remember, investing in crypto can be quite risky. And so if you see here, I have a table which might look quite familiar to some of you because it is actually the same table which I used in one of my previous video. And if you want to check that video out, do check it out here. But in this video, I'll be looking at the current ROIs in step N, referencing the current prices of Solana and GST. And so on the 15th of May, on the day of recording, the price of Solana is 53 USD and the price of GST is 288 USD. That gives a Solana to GST ratio of 18.4. As mentioned, these are the assumptions that I'll be going for. The shoes will be at level 0, level 5, level 9, level 10 and level 19 respectively. I'll be using a common jogger with 2.0 energy every day. And I've just put in the average stats of the shoes here for assumption purposes. And for the next section, I've actually gone into stepn.guide to extract all this information out. And if you haven't checked out that website, do check it out because it's very important for you to have an understanding or estimate of how much you'll be earning each day at different levels with different amounts of attributes. And so you'll see that the current daily income for a level 0 shoe is 478 and for a level 5 shoe is 1884, level 9 at 26.06 and level 10 at 27.65. And correspondingly, you'll see that the current shoe price of a level 0 shoe is 15.4 and a level 5 shoe is at 13.5. And you see that actually the price of a level 5 shoe is less than the price of level 0 shoes because at level 0 the min count is definitely at zero because shoe minting is only unlocked at level five and so people actually pay a premium for shoes at level zero and at level five what you're seeing is actually a floor price sneaker and oftentimes it is at either min two or min three the shoe prices for the different levels does continue to increase. So you see at level 9, the price is at 15 Solana, level 10 at 17 Solana, and level 19 is at 13.3 Solana. And this current shoe prices is Solana. I just took it to multiply the current Solana price and that will give me the current shoe price in US dollars. Next, I've taken the current shoe price in US dollars and divided it by the daily income in US dollars to give us the number of days required for break even. And so you'll see at level zero, it will take you 171 days to break even. And I do advise that if it's your first shoe, please don't buy a level zero shoe because it will take you a long time to recover your ROI. And perhaps you might even say, hey Daniel, and you won't be earning at level 0 all the way. You'll be intending to level up your shoe, whether up to level 5, level 9 or level 19. And I do agree that that is something that you should do. However, you actually need to incur some GST costs when you want to level up your shoe. And actually, it will take you one day at least to level up for each day. And so if you want to level your shoe up from level 0 to level 9, that would actually take you at least 9 days as compared to you going straight to the market to buy a shoe at level 9 and that you can be earning at a level 9 rate straight away. For level 5 shoe, it will take you 38 days to break even. For level 9 shoe, it will take you 31 days. At level 10, it will take you 33 days. And level 19 will take you 36 days. 
And so as you can see here, a shoe at level 9 gives you the shortest days to break even at 31 days. That is just right over a month. I do think that with ROI periods of right over a month, it is still quite reasonable for us to get into step N because you can actually break even and be risk-free of your NFT shoe investment in right over a month. I think that is actually still doable. However, for this to be the best or even a better time for you to get into the Step N app, we need to compare it with prices previously because things might have changed after the crypto market crash. And so for the comparison, I've actually extracted the table which I used in my previous video. And in that video, I've actually gotten the information on the 3rd of April of 2022. And on that day, the Solana price is 137 US dollars. The GST price is 472 and the Solana to GST ratio is 29.03. And all the assumptions are the same. The levels are the same. The rarity is the same. The type is the same and the attributes for each shoes are the same. But what you'll see different is actually that the daily income is quite different due to the difference in GST prices. So back then, because GST prices were a lot higher, a level 0 shoe will be earning at 784 each day as compared to currently at 478 each day. However, that's not all that's different because you do see that the current shoe prices are quite different from the shoe prices on the 3rd of April. A shoe at level 5 on the 3rd of April actually cost 7.8 Solana. However, today it costs 13.5 Solana. Do note that these prices is in Solana. And so even though the shoe price of the NFT sneaker has increased almost about 50%, we need to check out the changes in Solana price. And we actually see that the Solana price have dropped more than 50%. And this will actually cause the overall price in USD to decrease. And as such, you can see that the current shoe price is actually less than the shoe price back then on the 3rd of April. Lastly, we also see that the break-even days is about the same. And so back then, it is a shoe at level 9 that has the shortest number of days to break even. Similarly, at 31 or maybe 32 depending on the rounding errors. So if you compare the two scenarios on the different days, you realize that there is actually a cost reduction of 30 to 40% on the 15th of May as compared to the 3rd of April. And you can actually see in the shoe prices, a shoe price of a level 5 sneaker today is actually about 715 US dollar as compared to the same sneaker back then being just over 1000 US dollars. I do think that it might be one of the best times to get into Statman because you need to pay less money to start off on Statman and you need to pay less money to get your first sneaker which also means that the barriers of entry to Statman is a lot lower and many more people with less money can consider coming into Statman. Furthermore, paying less money to start out on Step N actually reduces your risk because the amount of money that you can lose in your investment is actually lower. And actually, it is much better for the investor because the risk is lower. So if you're considering investing money to buy a sneaker on Step N, whether it's your first sneaker or whether it's your subsequent sneaker that you need to reach the next energy milestone, now perhaps is one of the better times, I think, to get into the Step N to buy a new sneaker. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Do your own research. With such low prices, I do think that some people are thinking of buying gems to augment their shoes, whether is it they want to use it to increase their earnings or whether they want to flip gems. And I've actually went into the app to check out the prices of the different level 1 gems and for efficiency is at 1.3 Solana, for luck 0.24, comfort 0.23, resilience 0.27 and the corresponding US dollar prices are as follows, right? And I've actually taken the weighted average gem prices and calculated it to be 0.5 Solana and it's roughly 27 US dollars. However, today, based on the recent update by the Step N development team, they actually put in a minimum GST cost to open mystery boxes. And the minimum cost to open a level 1 mystery box is actually 9 GST and at current prices, it is almost 26 dollars. And so based on probability, you might see that it is reasonable and cost efficient for you to open up your level 1 mystery boxes. This may not be the case if the prices of GST increase or the prices of Solana decrease. 
However, do take note that it's actually a weighted average gem price because actually you only have a 25% chance to get an efficiency gem where getting an efficiency gem is earning you most of the profit here. If you are unlucky, you might get a luck, comfort or resilient gems which is actually most of the time, right? It's almost 75%. And so if you keep getting those gems, you'll actually be losing money. And so it may not be advisable to keep spending GST to open up your mystery boxes. Personally, I do think that gems are not really important for beginners because 1. They are not cost efficient as of currently 2. Beginners don't have much access to gems except from buying it on the open market and 3. I do think that it's better to focus on leveling up your shoes as compared to buying gems and trying to increase your efficiency. And finally, there is a dynamic shoe meaning cost that you need to know about and I have an update about this. Do check out this video here. And as of currently, the shoe mining cost is at 160 GST and 40 GMT. And I do think that shoe mining is the key event in step N and that you should be familiar with it. At current prices, it might be more worthwhile to work towards increasing your energy, whether is it through shoe minting or to buy a new shoe at current prices. I do think that the lower prices also give a lesser incentive for people to cash out their GST because the prices of GST is really not that high. Instead, they might be incentivized to use this GST back in the app to perform in-app functions including shoe minting or leveling up their shoes. That's all for this video. Do remember to like and subscribe. And if you're thinking of getting yourself a sneaker, do check this video out to learn about my mistakes so that you will need to make the same mistakes. See you next time!